Hey everyone, Zane here and today I'm going to introduce Microsoft Designer Tutorial for Beginners. Now first thing you should do is to simply go to Microsoft Designer website and I will leave its link down below in the description and here as you can see in the home page you will find a lot of options. You have here the create with AI option and the edit with AI option and finally the design from scratch but here in our video the topic is about the AI so I'm gonna show you exactly how to use this website in order to create images generated by the AI and do some edits with the AI so now let's get started first you should log in using your Microsoft account so keep that in mind and here as you can see we have many options you can generate or create an image create a greeting card icon social post invitations stickers and and you will find many things right here so you can easily try to check them in details but let me show you some features now let's go to images for example here I want to generate an image so what you should do is very simple you have to click on the description and describe what you really need and here on the right side you have the size so you can determine the size that you want and here as you can see it has custom sizes so you cannot actually type in what size exactly you want and this is actually a downside so here for example i'll type a prompt right here so as you can see right now i have typed a man with batman suit carrying five cats so i'm gonna click on generate right now and let's see how accurate is it and how much time does it take in order to generate some images okay actually it took some time it took about one minute but this is not bad but here as you can see i have typed five cats and here in every picture you can see only four maybe here if we have four cats and he also also here the only one that has the five cats is this one right here but let's not be judgmental and this is actually so far good for an ai so now let's click on any one of these pictures i'm gonna click on this one here for example and you can simply click on edit if you want to edit the image itself so here as you can see it will show you this option and here as you can see it will make every thing here in the picture selectable so i'm going to select this cat for example then i want to remove it so i'm going to click on erase for example and after that i will leave it for a while as you can see it's working on it just leave it for a while till it's finished and here we go as you can see it's completely erased and actually this is a good one for such an ai and now let's try to use the auto enhance for example actually it's doing something like changes in the contrast brightness and so on but now let me choose to add a text for example you can also add some text you can choose whatever text that you want you can simply drag it or just click on it and as you can see it will show the whole text now i can type bat for example then here i'm gonna type cat for example bat cat now you can also move the text as you want you can change some of the colors also here you have the style of the font i can make it like this one right here but you should select the font exactly that you want to change so you have many choices right here and you can also change its size change also the position Position, the transparency if you want to make it more transparent here for example as you can see it's more transparent and also you can go to visuals and add some other objects you can go to my media and upload any picture that you want and add it to this picture you can also click on makeup and do some things with the colors right here and you have also the thickness of the brush tool and you can increase the thickness and if you want to go a step back you can simply click on this undo button right here Control z is not working so don't try to use the Control z button so as you can see i have undone many things and and we are back to this point and when you go back to edit you can also do some selections now let's say that i want to do like color pop effect so i'm gonna click on color pop as you can see now some things have lost its color and the others remain with its color as you can see this cat right here now let's go a step back and click on edit again now let's choose this cat and make focus on it and blur to any other things as you can see now it's blurred any other things so when you select any object when you click on it then choose one of these effects it will apply the effect to this object so i'm going to click on this one right here as you can see it's removed all the background this also can be useful for many things now 
uh, that was how you can actually create an image and after finishing you can simply click on download right here or you can simply copy the image and send it to anyone that you want now let's try another feature in this website so i'm gonna try to create a wallpaper for example so i'm gonna select it and you can do the same thing you can simply type here the prompt and choose the size that you want so i'm gonna choose this size right here then type the prompt that you want then click on enter or generate and now it will take about a minute and it will show you also the other photos or images that you have created today or in previous days as long as you signed in with the same account that you used before as you can see now it's actually good i have typed a flaming red fox with blue eyes and white so it is not actually that bad i forgot to type white tail but no problem now you can also click on the image then click on download and it's actually very easy now let's try to do some edits using the ai so now i will go back to the home page then i'm gonna click on edit with ai and you can also guys try to find anything that you want by clicking on this search bar and choose whatever thing that you want you can create twitter post twitter header you can make some posts for facebook i will let you guys discover all these things and i will leave you the link down below in the description now click on edit with ai and now let's try to make some edits to any photo or image that we have in our pc so let's go to generative arrays for example and now i'm gonna upload a photo from my pc okay now i have chosen one of my images or photos and now i'm gonna remove some people from the background so now i'm gonna click on generative arrays then i'm gonna select any one of these people so i'm gonna select this one here for example then i'm gonna click on erase object will take a couple of minutes in order to do such process and here we go it actually removed the person that was standing right here but we still have its shadow but no problem we can do more modifications in order to remove its shadow and here on the left side you have also some filters and you can do actually more by using some of the adjustments right here you can increase or decrease the brightness you can change the contrast the saturation temperature sharpness and you can also use other ai tools like the remove background tool or the blur background now let me just try the blur background first i'm gonna click on save then click on blur the background and here as you can see it blurred everything in the background but it has some mistakes right here as you can see i don't know if you can see it or not but it's not blurred right here but the other downside is you cannot actually do some edits for the blur or the ai tool result itself so if the ai tool used the blur like this you cannot actually do the modification for the blur now let me remove the background i'm gonna click on remove background and here as you can see it actually removed the background very well it's not that accurate but it's not also that bad so it may be helpful for some reason and if you go back here to this page, you have also the restyle image. So I'm going to click on it and click on I agree. And now you will have to upload the image, then choose the specific style that you want and choose the background element. So I'm going to upload the image. So now here, as you can see, I have uploaded the image. Then I'm going to click on it in order to select it, then click on select. And now you have to choose the style that you want. So I'm going to choose this style here, for example. Then I'm going to click on background elements. You can now type the prompt of any background elements that you want so i'm gonna type in the background elements cats for example then click on generate and now let me see how does it look and now here as you can see guys it generated four images i know it doesn't look like the original image but no problem it's just an ai and keep in mind guys that here on the top right you will have some coins and you have only some limited coins for the day so if you want to get more you will have to subscribe to microsoft designer itself so keep that in mind and that's all for today guys if you find this video helpful please don't forget to support us with like subscribe comment share and see you in a new video